Hi guys, welcome to Marlux VFX podcast. Today we have Anuja Desai with us in this podcast. She's working as a VFX coordinator for Vascanline VFX in Vancouver. Welcome Anuja. Thank you so much. Thank you for uh, reaching out to me. So to start with, can you give a casual intro about yourself? Sure. So hi, uh, my name is Anuja Desai and uh, I'm working as a department production coordinator with Scanline VFX right now in Vancouver. and uh, yep i've been um, working with scanline for almost 2 uh, years uh, right now and it's been good so far yeah, that's nice uh, then uh, usually what will be the production role and uh, how it is going uh, it is it differ from every department to department um it is uh, like for now uh, I am a department coordinator for uh, matte painting and environments right now so it's more about um, I manage the team and uh, all the shows that we currently are working on uh, in scanline so the difference um, in my role and the other coordinators role uh, is like as I am a department coordinator we also have show coordinators who are like specifically assigned to a show and then uh, assigned to like departments with me it's mainly uh, just the department and all the shows that we are working on so i in a way help with uh, beat scheduling beat uh, tasking assignments and i work with the leads and i work with my team in terms of uh, priorities deadlines etc and then uh, like and similarly i also have to talk with the project people like show managers or show producers to uh, discuss what's upcoming or what's uh, the coming um, priority items and then accordingly we shuffle around uh, tasks and like uh, the team on high priority items and like stuff like that so it's more uh, my my work is more uh, department centered and uh, like my colleagues who who, who are also co coord like uh, are a show coordinator uh, theirs is more um, more with the project and like just the project deadline so they they kind of move from one project to the other once the project is done uh, for me i just i just be in the department and like just have new projects coming in so that's yeah. how it is that's nice uh, so what will be the software you use you will be using in a day to day work life um for me uh, uh just for production uh, shotgun is a must because uh, i guess all the all, all all other companies i guess most of them ra- now uh, kind of use shotgun throughout so shotgun is something that we use for scheduling tracking dates uh, assignments and targets and deadlines everything excel is also something that we use day to day but it's more like it's linked to shotgun so we kind of uh, update anything and everything on shotgun and then uh, extract it out in excel and then you know record it or like work on it on the side but shotgun is something that pretty much everybody uses not just production but we also encourage the artists to use it so we know that okay this is how the tasks are so it's it's basically all the information on shotgun be it the dates be it the show information be it uh, the targets and also like like a new version or notes and everything so it's pretty yeah. much everything on shotgun so for me shotgun is the first thing i i look at in the morning and the last thing i look at <laughs> when i'm done yeah. with my work like in the day yeah yeah i can understand like it's a it's shotgun and excel are must things you will be needing yes, if you are yes, production definitely. yeah yeah definitely <laughs> usually uh, in uh, in india i was working in india so shotgun was not much used as uh, there are yeah. some barriers and all but excel was the major yeah. thing which was used so how yeah. about uh, yeah, you definitely. should know uh, uh, you should know any formulas or anything to work on excel uh it really depends what level you are at and like how much like personally for me how much you want to excel in excel because uh, the thing is for me uh, i use it like like very basic and like very basic formulas that i can just you know cuz uh i feel it also depends on your role cuz for me it's mainly just extracting all the information and putting it into one table and then seeing okay what's due when 
Mm-hmm. And I don't really work work with numbers uh, in terms of estimates or the bids that we give for a particular shot or a particular scene. So for me, it's mainly just seeing that okay, this is how much work we have. Like that's the current scene for me. But I've worked uh, in Excel before as well when we were not really using shot because I've worked in India before. I've worked with mm-hmm. MPC. I've worked with uh, Rhythm and Use. So we we've, we've used Excel a lot where. it was not just about uh, the tasks it was also about the bids so i did learn a few uh, formulas like i think it's we look up and stuff that's like it's just like a basic formula you can copy something and like get mm-hmm. a, a a number uh, out in like another sheet so i i cannot explain it <laughs> more yeah, exactly. uh, like in in detail cuz that's the only thing i honestly know cuz i haven't really uh, worked much much in excel so it's literally just a basic um, use for me but then yes i think i think for production like from production perspective i guess having basic knowledge of excel definitely helps but yes uh, it depends on what role you are at so like i've seen my managers and like the head of departments having like huge formulas and like working on like super huge sheets where they have like 10 different things. like they put one formula and then there are 10 different things like coming in at the same time with like oh my god i i see so much information now and it all makes sense so i i have not uh, i don't use it that much cuz i um i use it for a basic use but then uh, yes definitely excel um having basic knowledge helps uh so i i feel it it literally depends on you if you want to like go more into it and like uh, maybe person to person on how comfortable they are with tracking stuff yeah so excel and shotgun are the major softwares we'll be needing for yes, production yeah yeah yeah, yeah. <laughs> so how easy uh, is to do work from home as a production person do you feel any challenges in this covid working from here <laughs> usually Uh, VFX has never come across working from home so long, but this yeah. is a new yeah. norm. We got it. So how is that for production? Usually, production will be on floor and racking all the things, everything like that. Yeah. So do you feel yes. challenging? Um, uh, it has pros and cons for me. Uh, because as you said, like production is like someone who always runs around the floor and like talking to people. So obviously, a coordinator or production job is more uh involved with. communicating so i am working from home the best part for me is like okay i don't have to get up in the morning get ready and go take a sky train and like go to work for me it's like okay i get up i'm i'm all good and and then i just go on call so it's literally like i'm on calls talking to people throughout the day sometimes it's like back to back so i do feel like you know oh i need some time to get some fresh air cuz because it it depends if like if it's like if the deadline's coming uh and then it's it becomes hectic but then you also have the luxury of just being at home and not worrying about traveling back home or like cooking and all and all no. so <laughs> i feel work from home yes definitely helps but i would say if given a chance like once the whole covid thing is like gone if given a chance i would prefer work from home but i would also prefer going to work at least a couple of days in a week just to meet people and like talk to them or like get get on board or like like if 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 that arrangement ever happens cuz i i feel like uh, talking on phone uh, and talking in person uh, is super different so sometimes uh, it's like cuz everybody is working from home for me i have i have like multiple people in my department so i have to call each and every person one after the other mm-hmm. and so it's it's more it's more i won't say it's challenging but it's just it's just a bit hectic sometimes when you have to make a lot of calls and then plus it's not just being in touch with your team it's also being in touch with the production or the shows so it just uh, a, a lot of back to back calls for me at least right now from work from home but then yes i do enjoy getting up easily not worrying about going out or anything and just working from home and then you know you, i mean i can literally roll out of my bed and go to the my, go to my workstation and just start working it's literally like that but then uh, yes i i like it but i definitely would want to go sometime back to work so. maybe something like hybrid culture yeah yeah something like that cuz uh, 
I don't, I don't see myself being like this talking to people just on phone every single day i need to i need to like you know at least have conversations person to person so it feels uh, it feels a bit and okay of course right now. <laughs> if you have to get some work you have to speak and get it done in yeah, call you yeah, yeah, never yeah. know how it will be yeah. face to face yeah. really get you know a lot of yeah. face to face actually uh, like really helps so yes mm. i mean hopefully that will like hopefully and, uh, normal uh, go back normal again <laughs> hopefully yeah usually production person is like production coordinator assistant they are they have to communicate with artists as well as executives so yeah. they are the bridge communication bridge so yeah yeah definitely yeah yeah we are like the middle person for every single thing like be it the team be it the higher ups everyone so yeah in person really helps cuz cuz you have to chase people to just call them sometimes someone is not at their desk so to like call back again after some time so yeah so uh, according to you what are the main skills you will be needing to uh, excel as a production coordinator like uh, something like uh, if this is the this skill we have means definitely we can go through this job go through this profile something right. like that what is or anything like that um in terms of skills uh for me i guess communication is the first thing i would say cuz you need to be a people's person i feel to be a production person cuz you have to talk to so many people and like you come you come across so many challenges day to day be it in terms of your project or be it in terms of like a team member so i feel communication and like communication is a must that like a skill and um, second thing uh, i would say uh, you can definitely keep yourself updated with tracking softwares that that are like developing shotgun as as i mentioned before shotgun is like everywhere right now so mm-hmm. but then uh, i i do keep myself updated with uh, new uh, tracking softwares or like online forums that are that talk about production and like production workflow and you know it it just helps me um, in a way get knowledge about what's happening outside of my uh, role so that is definitely something i would suggest uh, to to go over uh, like just new technologies and stuff and yeah i mean communication is is a must yeah communication is key for production of course yeah <laughs> yeah <laughs> so my next question is like uh, if you would like to choose a department other than production what would be and why um okay honestly uh i i i entered the the industry thing of i wanted to be a compositor and that's how i started with my education like i, I did my animation and like basically the I, I, this this was back in india so i did my course and everything and i wanted to get into compositing but then uh on my journey to you know kind of move ahead with like roto and like everything and then thinking that i'll be into compositing someday i i got a job which was more like production but it didn't really have title as production it was it was more like a team lead where i was just handling a team uh, and like allocating work and like taking care of like day to day deadlines so that made me interested in production that's how i continued in production but then um, like i've worked uh, in different departments uh, so i would definitely say now um because compositing is the last department and like you know every single thing is just on them i don't want to be <laughs> into compositing anymore i would i would definitely say i would go for lighting cuz uh, i was working uh, with lighting team on on one of the projects uh, at scan and like in back 2018 so i really got interested in the way the whole setups work and and the way the whole whole procedure is and uh, i feel uh, it i mean i i i also it's like it's also like my personal interest cuz i love photography i i'm not a good photographer but i love photography i like uh, you know uh, to see lights and like composition in a in a frame so i i would definitely prefer lighting because that is something you create and it's like your creativity your imagination to make a picture look pretty so i would definitely choose lighting now <laughs> <laughs> yeah technical side it's completely right <laughs> tech yeah, lighting yeah. is technically I mean, it's it's completely technical uh-huh. but uh, when i see the renders and the output it just uh, it looks amazing like obviously comp is 
comp definitely adds in more to it and like more beauty to it but then the the base the lights and the environment and everything it it's just amazing so i i think i would choose lighting now uh, like more 3d than 2d now <laughs> <laughs> that's nice like yeah. so, is there any chance uh, that in future uh, any softwares or any automations may come and maybe eat up some jobs or something like in production usually now you would have heard about protobot which was recently released like two years back or somewhere Uh, yeah, so yeah. we every roto artist was like scared on that. So do you think anything may happen like that in future with the production department? Um, with production department, um, I honestly feel till the time we have artists working on something, you definitely need someone to manage. Like that's what I feel. Even though it's you know automated, managing people would still need a person because. yeah i mean even if it's pushing a button <laughs> you need someone to push the button so basic i mean yes definitely there there's there's a lot of automation happening and everything but i feel till the time we have people working on it we definitely need production to manage track and like yeah keep an eye on everything so <laughs> i i definitely feel uh production even though it's automated production would still be production <laughs> yep that's true yeah so uh, what are the usually skills you will keep on updating yourself like as you mentioned earlier also you will be seeing some forums and all yeah. uh, like uh, what will be technical yeah. skills you will be looking uh, to update yourself yeah i i actually prefer uh, so i've been in matte painting and uh, environments uh, like almost for a year uh, like environments is something new that we've started so i've been in matte painting for like almost a year so as a production person uh, i try to understand the workflow whatever department i am in so it helps me help the artists who shoot stuff or like at least helps me understand if there's an issue and in a way uh, i prefer updating myself with the procedure so you know i have an idea of like okay this is what the task we have now and like you know this is approximately how much time we would need so even if for example if the lead is busy i i would at least have an idea of like okay this is how much time we would need so i definitely update myself with the new procedures or any new department i'm if i'm added to um uh, new uh softwares if you're using i mean obviously not i i won't be like good with the whole interface but at least how things work what the output would be and like how much time basically it would need so i definitely update i would like to update myself with any new thing that i've been put on to or mm-hmm. i want to like get acquainted to so usually it is like uh, even i'm not sure how it works here but in india if any shot is coming so you have to see it in rv or new for somewhere to run yeah. it and see how many frames and also that it will be yeah. needing for production person to know some technical software for which department yeah. they are working that would be good yeah. right yeah definitely because uh, we do have a uh, RV is something we use every day, so mm-hmm. RV is something we use for reviews. Uh, Nuke is something we don't really use, but then we have like every company has a conference page where they have mm-hmm. the whole procedure. So it it helps to understand. Okay, this is how it works. Uh, but I would say RV is definitely something that we use every day, and it keeps updating. Like the company mm-hmm. keeps it updating, but. uh mainly it's uh like for me uh it mainly it's just for reviews so i just kind of make sure that i know the hot keys to mm-hmm. like switch versions or like you know get something real quick if the if the supervisor asks for it because we have like timed reviews so i have to make sure that you know we look at everything in the in the given time and like get it done Question, so yeah like which is the best movie you ever worked uh, is there any memory you would like to share on that with us um in terms of best movie i think i don't have just one i i loved working on uh, life of pi uh, that was in a way one of my first uh, projects i was on like when i started as a production coordinator that was one of my first uh, like show and i loved working on life of pi i loved i loved working on uh, on exodus i don't know if you know that it's this uh, i worked on it uh, in mpc i'm not really sure how how much that movie worked but but it was it was uh, is like as i said there's not just one movie 
uh, for me uh, in terms of like best experience i feel it's more about what team i'm working with cuz like obviously i can i can definitely say that oh i love love life of pi i love uh, the bond movie i worked on but then uh, i actually would definitely say oh i loved working on this movie because this was the team i was working with and they were helpful so i yeah i for me it's more uh, what team what department i'm working with than just like a single movie cuz cuz you work on like at least right now i work on like 10 different movies at the same time mm-hmm. so there's no such uh, one particular scene or like one particular movie it's more about how comfortable i'm working with the team and like the team i have on this movie and like how great it is going so that's that's for me but then uh, i know that's not the answer to your question but mm-hmm. i definitely would say that i loved working on the, on life of pi cuz it was my first uh, project and i was working at the menu and it was amazing so that's i would say that was uh, my best project for now cuz that that's like the first one and the best one can you share some cool tips for the viewers if uh, any of them want to start their career as a production assistant or a coordinator um specifically for production coordinator production i would say if anyone asks you or like stops you from asking questions or like you know like why are you talking so much just tell them i need to do my job i'm a production coordinator i need to talk <laughs> cuz that's that's the first thing we have to do we have to like uh, we have to go ask people uh, about how's it going how's the task going when do you think we can see this so i would say if someone says why do you talk so much tell them that this is my job that's my job to do so stop stop asking me questions but then no on a serious note um i think um uh, like to be a production coordinator i guess you just need to keep your eyes open be vigilant like gather every and any information that you can gather from the show from your colleagues and like help the team do it like do the work so mm. that that's one tip uh, i would say usually <laughs> like that, like that's what i do yeah uh, usually production person has to speak a lot to get the work done every so, single day yes it is uh, it and, is and a part of job just, uh, <laughs> Yeah, yeah and it uh, i mean uh, i feel like it's not just about asking them like asking the team about uh, you know how your shot is going or like mm-hmm. uh do you think we'll be done with this by by tomorrow it's it's also more about how are you feeling working on this do you think it's good are you like good with everything cuz in the end we we depend on them to get the work done so i feel like any and every support uh for them would definitely help them like mm-hmm. getting stuff out and like getting the best out so yeah i i definitely um uh, support supporting the team and not just myself <laughs> yeah. so uh, do you think uh, you would be needing french and english as well here or english you can manage with english so usually canada uh, canadian uh, okay yeah so continue yeah i guess uh i it's i think english works like we do have a lot of people who are french or like from other countries but mm-hmm. english is like english is what we we use for day to day conversation so mm-hmm. it works i mean Usually, i definitely try to learn a few words where uh, when someone talks to you in french and like says thank you i still i still i still don't know how to say it but i know how to type it so at least that would that is i do so that you know if someone like messages me in french saying thank you or like anything i can at least reply back but but english is uh, english works right will be like yeah. what's your ambition and goal uh, in your career um ambition and goal definitely is uh, i i mean i would love to produce a movie someday cuz i i do look forward to being a vfx producer so i do look forward working in a way uh, where i would reach at a point where finally i can produce a a, a movie <laughs> so really i'm working nice. on that right now i'm not sure how much time is going to take but i'm working on it <laughs> very all the very best for that <laughs> thank you thank you so much okay thank you anuja for spending your time with us and it's i'm really glad that you made 
possible actually i was behind you to get this interview from long time <laughs> I'm sorry. And I'm sorry. It took so much time. <laughs> oh, no, it's okay. It's okay. I can definitely understand. It's all about your busy schedule and everything. So, thank you very much again for making the time to come to our podcast. Thank you. Thank you. Thank so, you so much. La- uh, sorry. Yeah. Any last words you want to give for a uh, person who want to start their career in production? Um, I would just say that production is a happy place for me. It's fun. you get to work on a lot of exciting projects and you get to know a lot of information beforehand then rather than just waiting for a movie to release so it's fun it's amazing and it will definitely take you to different heights if you're really interested in it so i mean i would be happy to help anyone who wants to be in production thank you definitely i'll be adding your link in the description also so if anyone want to reach you personally they can do it So thank you again. <laughs> thank you so much. Thank you and all the best for you and all the best to Manoj as well. And sorry it took me so much time, <laughs> but it was it was really great talking to you. Yeah. Thank you.